Everybody hates Spanky. What's going on, y'all? This is be your boy, Scotty, and we're here for my review of The Come Up New York Season 3, Episode 2. So, we're going to get right on into this shit, shall we? Let's get right on into it. So, we pick up where we left off last week when Spanky came into the building and Justin, you know, put his hand out and he was like, um, Spanky, right? And then Spanky was like, oh, you already knew. And so, from the moment he said that... Justin just completely went off the hinges with that shit and he just started going the fuck in on Spanky and I'm just like I don't see how he felt like that was Shay at all and I feel like at the end of the day what he decided to do was to go and watch the season and then when once he joined the show he decided that okay I don't like Spanky from what I saw on TV so therefore I'm just gonna go in on him and that's gonna be the bitch that I wanna have an issue with that's what it come across as because <clears throat> That right there really didn't make any sense. And he really didn't have no reason to really be going in on that boy like that. Because he really didn't do anything. Like, Spanky really didn't do shit wrong in this scene at all. Like, I don't even understand why the hell Justin even went so hard like that. Like, why are you going hard? Like, why are you going hard in the paint? You know, like, cussing him the fuck out, talking to him all rough and crazy and... We're going we're gonna to go around and get to know each other because this is what the fuck I did this for. And that's it. I'm like, if I was Spanky, I would have got my shit and got the fuck up out of there. Because number one, don't no motherfucker talk to me like that, number one. Number two, if I already knew that I didn't mean nothing about what the fuck I said, I'm not going to sit there and let you go in on me. And then I'm just going to sit there. Spanky needs to learn how to speak up for himself. Now, granted... <coughs> Now, granted, I get the whole unbothered act. I get all of this unbothered shit. You really not faced. I understand that. But I felt bad for you. Really, I felt bad for Spanky just sitting there and watching that bull attack him like that. And he just sitting there for the rest of the time like... Like, how can you sit there after he went in on you like that? And he invited you to his brunch. Because it ain't no fucking event. It was a fucking brunch. So, I don't see how you could have sat there and let him do that. I, I'm sorry, but no. Like, you're not going to talk to me like that. If you felt like it was shade, fine. But it wasn't. And that's just what it is. I don't care about how you feel. That's just how I would have took that shit. Because he was out of line for that. Straight up out of line. I don't care what nobody got to say about that. He was fucking out of line for that. And that's just what it is. Like, you were wrong and that's that. You were wrong. And Spanky, you are dumb for sitting your ass there. Let him bark at you like that. Ain't no way he would have got away with barking at me like that. I just can't. No, I cannot. Over something small like that, uh, over a comment that says, oh, you already knew. Like, it's not shade. And if you really watched the season like you said you did, you would know that that's just how he is. That's just how he talked. He didn't mean nothing about what the fuck he said. Calm down. You're going to be back next season. Just calm your ass the fuck down. These boys, I tell you, they doing too much. They doing too much. So then everybody goes around the table and showcase their talent. You got Mitch, you got Montel, and you got Chance. Now, Mitch is, is a supposed singer. And he starts singing for the girls. And once again, I wasn't feeling it. He can carry a tune in the shower, but he's not a singer. That's just my personal opinion. Like, I'm not going to keep harping on how he sounds because I did enough of that on the last review. But I'm not feeling it. Then you got Montel. I never even knew that Montel was a rapper. I didn't even know that he was into music like that. But it wasn't so bad. It wasn't really that bad. He just needed to put more effort into his craft, in my opinion. Then Chance started rapping. And one thing about it and two things for certain, Chance really not bad as a rapper. He just got to work on himself just like Montel does. He got to work on his craft. And he got to be more comfortable with his craft, too. Because truth be told, I've talked to Chance um, via DMs and... um. He rapped some of his stuff for me. And it sound 
really good to me and I told him that it sound good or whatever so um he just need to work on it a little bit more and he just need to focus more on um his craft if he really wants to make it serious and just make sure that it's the right that it's right you know what I mean but he got the pen you know what I mean he just got to keep working on it and working on it till he gets better you know what I mean but what was so funny about it was while Chance was doing his rapping Mitch is in a confessional talking about, you know, I never knew that, you know, Chance was into music. And it just wasn't good. It just wasn't good at all. I wasn't feeling it. The same way I wasn't feeling your ashy ass voice. Like, you cannot sit up here and talk about nobody else's talent when you barely got any talent yourself, okay? Like, you like the male Ashanti. You can hold a tune in a motherfucking shower, but you are not nobody's Tyrese. Stop acting like you Jesse Powell and Tevin Campbell because you not, okay? You ain't got no room. No leg room. To sit up here and talk about nobody else's talent, Mitch, okay? Now, I'm grateful that you watched my video last week, but I gotta call the spade. I'm gonna fucking spade and call a draw for a draw for a reverse, a reverse, and a skip, a skip. You was out of line. Shut the hell up, man. Shut the hell up. So then Chance confronts Spanky about the things that he heard that he said about him. And he just put it out there. And I know that this season, it, it seems to be the popular thing to do amongst the fans to hate on Chance. Now, just last season, everybody, including myself, was loving Chance. And I saw a couple of people in the comment section saying that Chance is not a fan favorite. Last time I checked, he was a fan favorite. And that's why he's back. I don't know why people hating on Chance so much this season. I don't have a problem with Chance. I've always loved Chance when he was on here. When he came here last season, he was an instant favorite for me. And I know that he was an instant favorite for a lot of people. And I always feel like he always gets to the point and always keep it all the way 100. That's why I like him. But I don't know why everybody giving him such a hard time this season. I don't know, but it is what it is, but whatever. Um, he confronts Spanky, and um, it's kind of like he didn't go off on him. He didn't even threaten to fight him like he would have last season. He just put it out there, and he let it be known why he felt the way that he felt. Spanky didn't really have a rebuttal. So then after all of that, Montel decides that he wants to come in and expose Spanky for what he did. Now, Spank now Spanky can be low-key messy. I'm not going to lie to you. He can't. We only been living over here for about a month. And I'm already sick of that fucking dog. I wish that dog would shut the fuck up. You can be your own fucking yard. And that dog would start barking. Shut the fuck up. And Montel basically like says. I never snaked you Spanky. But you snaked me. And it was fucked up of you to do that. Spanky it was fucked up of you to do that. Like. From first season on down, you was always the person that Montel went to. You was always the friend that Montel needed you to be. At least I thought you was. But Chance had a problem with you too. And my thing about it is you don't understand how you made yourself look like a fraud. Because at the end of the day, Montel was your ride or die. He was always looking out for you. All he needed for you to do was to look out for him. Why would you be sitting up here talking about him to motherfuckers that don't even like him? The same motherfuckers that didn't even like you. So why would you think that that was okay? It wasn't okay. And Montel's feelings are valid. Now, true enough, Montel does drag shit and drag shit and drag shit and drag shit. He does do that. But he has every right to be mad with you. Because I would have been mad with you too. And I was mad with you watching this shit. But I, I did feel bad that... It just felt like a gang up on Spanky type of thing. Because first of all, Justin set it off when he went in on you. And then on top of that, Chance calling you out. Then Montel exposing your ass as a fraud. So I felt bad for you in a sense because it's like, okay, does he really deserve this? Okay, yeah, he was being a little bit messy. He was being a little bit shady. But does he really deserve this action-packed gang up on that he's getting. I'm not sure, but you got it. And you got to own it and respect it. Not really own it and respect it, but just own it and take ownership of how you made your friend feel. But while you were sitting there, you really didn't give a fuck. It's like you don't care. And it is what it is. So Spanky got up to walk out because he's over it. Mitch comes out. I don't know why the fuck Mitch is even coming out to say anything. You don't know these people. You don't know their issues. Like, if anybody should have come out, I felt like maybe Ken should have came out. Or maybe 
Chance should have came out. You know, somebody like that. I don't feel like Mitch should have been the one to come out and say anything to Spanky about any fucking thing regarding Montel. Don't don't try to mediate anything. Like you already know that the boy been ganged up on. Now you want to come up here and give your opinion that don't even matter on the situation. Like let it go, move on, and that's that. Montel break his ass outside, and it's like Montel, boy, you could have set your ass down in that damn at that fucking table and did what you needed to do. You didn't have to come outside and say anything else to Spanky. It's pretty clear that Spanky don't give a fuck about how he made you feel, and that's that. Sometimes when you want answers from people and they don't give it to you. <clears throat> You just have to understand that you will never get those answers. You will never understand why they did what the fuck they did to you. Because they're never going to own it. They're never going to admit it. They're never going to do anything. They don't give a damn about hurting you. And Spanky clearly don't give a damn about hurting you. So just let that shit go and move on. Y'all already made it clear that y'all would never be friends again. And that's just that on that. That's how I feel on that. But, you know, Mitch whole thing was Spanky need to stand his ground. Now, that's one thing I do agree on with Mitch on. He does need to stand his ground because these boys always attack him. They always coming for him all the time. And he make himself an easy target just because of the fact that he don't say nothing. I wish that dog would shut the fuck up. For real. So, Montel asked after Montel invites everybody out to this event that he's doing. He asks Justin to show his body. And Justin shows his body. He got a body that I wish I fucking had, okay? This is all I got. I got a bird chest, a small gut, some little bitty legs, and no, and that's it. I ain't got nothing else, okay? But, yeah, so, they do that. He show his body. He wants somebody to take a body shot. Mitch, thirsty ass, said, okay, I'll do it. And he took the body shot off Justin. I would have did it, too. Aside from his unlikable personality, Justin is a fine young man. And I would have took the body shot off his ass, too. Just saying. So, later on, Justin and Chance meet up with each other for drinks or whatnot. And, you know, they start talking about what happened between Justin and Spanky at the sharing event, whatever the fuck it was. And Chance was like, do, what, how do you feel about Spanky? Well, Justin really don't feel like he did nothing wrong. He said that he felt like he threw shade at him and he just checked it. That's what he felt. But he didn't throw no shade at you and you didn't check anything. What you did was you made yourself look like a complete idiot because he did not throw shade at you. Nothing that he did was wrong. All he said was you already knew. He said that in a playful way and you took it as shade because again, you watched the show already so you already had your opinion on him which you just admitted in this very scene you had an opinion on him so that's why you went in on him the way you did because you already had an opinion on him. Then on top of that you were sitting at sitting there with Chance listening to what Chance had to say about him. So you did not make your own opinion about him. First of all, you went by what you saw on the, sh on the show last season and you went by what Chance said. So you really didn't give the boy a chance. You was looking for a reason to pop off and you took your opportunity and that's some bullshit. Point blank, period. It was some fucking bullshit and I ain't like it. And if I was Spanky, I would not want to fuck with you. Now, I would want to fuck with you, but not like that. Yeah, but yeah, so it is what it is on that. So next thing you know, Justin starts telling um, Chance that he heard some shit that Mitch said about Chance before Chance came to the event. And Chance want to know what it was. So Justin told him that basically Mitch told him that they got history together. And apparently they had a one night stand and that the six wasn't about shit, basically. Chance is immediately mad. He was like, why was that even mentioned? Why are we talking about this? Why did he feel like there was a need to even address that when I wasn't going to bring it up? Why? And my thing about it is, I'm going to tell y'all, I do not like when somebody kisses and tells. I do not like that. If we fucking, I don't need you to go and tell nobody that we was fucking. Because I did a video about that. I got that I knew we had sex one time. One time. And he just so happened to be related to my best, one of my close friends. We had sex one time. He could not wait to tell his cousin that we smashed uglies. He couldn't wait to tell them that. And I didn't want that to go. Like, I felt like that was our business. Why do you keep having to tell people that we had sex? 
Like, I'm not telling nobody I fucked with you. So why are you telling anybody that we had sex? Like, that ain't nothing to tell. Like, why why is that even a thing? Like, why are you telling people that we had sex? So I understood why Chance was a little bit annoyed because I was annoyed when I, when that boy did that to me. Like, why are you telling people we had why like why are why are you acting like it's a badge of honor that you fucked me? Like, okay, we had sex, it wasn't all that to me. So why are you sitting up here telling everybody that? So, I understood what Chance was saying. And then he said he gonna check that. But Justin was messy as fuck for telling Chance that. He already knew what the fuck he was doing. And I don't know what it is with Justin and Chance. I believe that Chance like Justin. And Justin like Chance. There's a little bit of romance in the air with these two motherfuckers. Because the way they look. So, Mitch goes out to the park with this guy that he's saying is someone special by the name of Jawan. They go out. They at a park. They sit down. And Mitch starts talking to him about his relationship with his father and how he feels about that and and all of that stuff. So it's kind of like neither one of them had a relationship with their dads. He didn't. Have, Mitch, uh, Mitch's little guy friend didn't have no relationship with his dad nor his stepdad. And like I said, I understood that. I understand everything about it because growing up, I didn't have a relationship with my dad, but my relationship with my stepdad was also tumultuous. So I didn't really have the best relationship with neither one of them. But now I have the best relationship with both of them. So you know what? My stepfather is no longer my stepfather. He's an ex stepfather, but he's the he's my youngest brother's father. So he's still somewhere. But um, I understood that. But then he admitted to Jawan that he had sex with Chance. But the kicker was. He wasn't the one that was bottoming. Chance was. Now, all this time, I thought that Chance was a top. I've always thought that Chance was a top. I always want a chance to climb my tree. I always thought he was a top. But the fact that he was a bottom and Mitch was the top, it was very mismatched to me because I thought that Mitch was the one being dug out. But apparently it was Chance and he was basically saying that the booty wasn't all that good. But why are you telling everybody this though? It's like, okay, you had sex with this boy, it wasn't good. Why are you talking about it? Because again, like I had sex with a person before and the sex wasn't good at all. And this ain't even the same situation. I'm just bringing up on, on the last part. I had sex with somebody and I didn't enjoy it not one bit. And I'm not walking around here telling everybody that his sex game ain't about shit because he walking around here telling it, making it seem like he can fuck real good and he cannot. But I'm not telling nobody that. Why are you? Why do you feel the need to tell everybody you had sex with with Chance and it just one shit? It just comes across like you being shady and you trying to make him look bad. That's how I take it. And I don't see why you telling everybody that. I don't see why you telling everybody that. And then you go on to say that you got a pass with Spanky too. Y'all just oh yeah no yeah doing the most this season but I can't say that I'm mad about that because if y'all wasn't the shit would be a damn bore okay so with that being said y'all this is my review on the come up New York be sure to like rate comment subscribe and share this video do whatever you see fit follow me on Instagram at Scotty underscore by nature Scotty underscore by underscore nature this is just the cheap at this is the punk ass club till I got my head spinning right now um the Instagram will be at the bottom, and that's it. So, this be your boy, Scotty, and I'm here for all of your ratchet ass needs. Whether it be for commentary on ratchet reality TV such as this, hot topics, or just all things real talk. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here until my next video. Hopefully, that dog will shut the fuck up the next time I do a video. Peace.